Pershing Square should be an exemplar of 21st century urban park design, equal to the success of similar great parks around the world. Think of Chicago's Millennium Park, New York's Bryant Park, or London's Trafalgar Square, for example. Each of these parks are different and specific to their location, time, and culture, and they're all very much loved, vibrant social spaces, essential to the identity of each city. Downtown Los Angeles is so alive and exciting right now, so much development and creativity, a kind of multicultural cosmopolitanism that feels cool and vital. Pershing Square needs to live up to its role as the centerpiece of the city. We met and interviewed many people using the square today, and these are some of the remarks that we heard over and over again. I would love to see more areas for sitting, more, area, more green would be amazing. Greens, grass, more trees, more playgrounds for kids. And the way that it's set up right now, you do feel like it's kind of like one big box, you just kind of have to walk around it, and it's not as picturesque as you'd like it. Yeah. It's transitional, I guess, you know, so where you can transition it from maybe a mini concert to maybe uh, movies in the park. Places for families. I've got two little boys, and we live a couple blocks away, and uh, as a neighbor, I'm really interested in a place that I can uh, make part of my daily life. When people see that there's a lot of people in a place, they want to be a part of it. So how can we design a new, green, sociable, and interconnected park for downtown LA? We answer this by taking the best of the various historic versions of Pershing Square. We take the green arboreal park from the 1800s, the crossing promenades from the early 1900s, and the flexible event plaza of the current design. This creates a new hybrid form for 21st century lifestyle, a garden theater, if you will, with strong diagonal connections, a definitive center, green lawns, vibrant plantings, and dynamic social spaces. Two large triangular lawns are defined and raised to tilt and then frame the central space. Beneath the tilting lawns are cafes and spaces for the community. The flaps permit new hidden ramps to the garage level below with potential subgrade connections to the metro and new escalators through gardens to the park above. And on either side of the big lawns are a series of richly planted gardens and pathways, open and porous to the city, surrounding play and picnic areas. The new park is green, serene and casual, and yet highly flexible and accommodating varied needs and activities. The iconic clarity of the park has strongly defined gateway entrances, with active cafes and seating amidst groves of trees. The corner at Hill and Fifth connects to the metro and creates both an overlook and entrance into the park. The southern part of the park features a triangular lawn with terrace seating. This enjoys great views of the city and supports diverse activities from everyday picnicking and lounging, to markets and festivals, to evening movies in the park, to winter ice skating, to concerts, fashion shows and performances. In the center of the site is a dramatic water feature that can be programmed and to the sides, two trellises with vines and lots of movable tables and chairs, an al fresco seating in the shade. Flanking both hill and olive are a series of lush gardens with drought-tolerant succulents and grasses and flowering trees. Carved into the gardens is a children's play area with a natural feel and places for parents to sit and gather, and a place to lounge in a hammock in the shade of sycamores and oaks. Even space for dogs in a dedicated dog run area. Hill can be closed to traffic on weekends and holidays and become a market plaza with food trucks and events. The north side of the park features a large sloping lawn facing west, a space for lounging and picnics, or a space for yoga and community events. And in the evening, the park is beautifully lit, encouraging an after-dinner stroll and a romantic kiss in the park. The new vision for Pershing Square aims to bring back greenery, cafes, social life, flexible space, and a meaningful center for the community back into the heart of a burgeoning downtown Los Angeles.